Uh, welcome back members. Uh, today we're going to look at another video on how to change the color of different items. Hope that you enjoy. Let us start. Uh, we have these few products that we are going to work on or images that we are going to try and use here. Let me make it uh, the image. I just click on it and then it is ready for any editing as long as it becomes a layer. So what I'm going to do, I'll prefer this time around to duplicate them by using, by placing J, uh, Ctrl J, I press on the layer, Ctrl J, it duplicates the layer. So. I will try to see the layer that I, I've been working on later on. So I'm going to use this image to change the, the color. So I will use this lady. I'm interested in changing the color of the background. So what I'm going to do is the lady. And now it is plus. That's why it is running a little bit faster. The size is a little bit big. So I'm put it quickly. After after having clear flow. So I can come back to minus. I come back to minus. So after back to minus. So this is what we, we can have a bit. After that, then I can just use uh, inverse. Just use inverse. Okay, now it has selected the outsider part. So we can see it right now. We have our selected outer part. And now let me change it by using image adjust. You can even go to brightness and then keep on changing so you can see how it is changing. Now we have it to be dark at night. It depends on what you are trying to come up with. So you can have a clear flow of our road. Okay, now it is two. So this is just simple, change, then come up with something, find that sort what you prefer. We have also levels, you can try them and see what you want to come up with. Totally dark. So these are levels, you can work for you. And then you come up with something light from a different side. Well, these are options of changing the color can go to curves, manipulate the curves to see what you want to come up with in different angles. So if you have not taken that, these are all options to keep on changing the color of something. You can come and then manipulate the color accordingly. You can see. Come up with something different. All these are options that you can use to keep on changing the color. So once you are done, you can just click the select and this time around, I'm going to also try and select only a portion of this portion of address. So I'll just select from there. Keep on select. 
going to then minus okay up to there we don't want the part to be part so you can just keep on clicking on minus or plus to make it more clear you can even bring it closer by using control alt and then use your mouse it brings your uh, your image closer to your site so that you can see whatever you are trying to come up with so there is a portion that you also want this side uh, I mean, don't uh, look at it uh, right now because it will take a lot of time, but you can also pick it. Then you come up with a clear flow that one we need you to reduce the brush. And then come back here. No, 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 no. Control. Then after that, you can just quickly use the same technique, image, and then you can keep on changing, press slowly by slowly. Because it is white, it is not easy to quickly manipulate it the way you want. It will be a distorted color. If I click OK and then bring it a little bit, but again, we can see some bit of changes. There are two colors which are standard black and white, uh, may not be observed totally in a different color observation. We have here. Just keep on manipulating until you come up with another different output, and then Ctrl D, and then you have that outlook of that dress okay then we're going to try out something else here we have this gentleman i'll bring him a little bit closer and uh, we just make it a ready image click on our quick selection tool then select the portion that you want Reduce the brush if you see it selecting a lot of things that you don't want. Uh -huh. I'm only interested in the shots. Yes, we have it. Only a few things remaining. You say I can feel that we have selected it. And after that, there are other ways that I'm going to show you. Uh, you can right click on it and then uh, layer via copy so that it becomes a separate layer and after making it a separate layer you go under this menu we have different uh you can create different fields or adjustment layers so you can click on them or use sword layer sword layer you can select any color that you prefer to use you can prefer that color click OK and after that you can just go to where we have different modes keep on uh, before you do anything uh, you just right, right click on the image create clipping mask and then you can see right now it is totally salt not so clear so what you just need you go to normal keep on seeing yes wow it is changing Yes, you can also come back, see what comes out. Um, you can also try another output. Uh, we have many of them. Yes, if you want it like that. Mm -hmm. You can it a little bit. These are all options we can try to use. To see whether our thing is a little bit clear and again you can also click on the, uh, the to keep on changing the colors to what you find suitable okay we have another color 
So this is the time that you're going to try out and then change this shirt or the vest that you always put on by using this technique. So we have this and once you have confirmed it, we can see from our ligero it was like that and now we can see the gentleman putting on a different one. Uh, thank you for watching. You can subscribe and then we have more to come.